My niece graduated from med school this spring and works at a medical facility. To celebrate her new job, I decided to give her a gift. She loves the Snoopy character, so I was thinking of something Snoopy's. I made a magnet photo of my dog by using Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. That was the first time I used resin and it was straightforward and I loved it. It has been about 10 years since I made it and it's still in great condition. However, the dimensional magic requires 24 hours to cure. So this time I will use UV resin that cures more quickly than Mod Podge and gel tape as a mold to make a Snoopy resin badge for her. Before putting paper into resin, the paper must be sealed. So tape both sides. Firmly stick the tape to the design and finish the edges with a wood stick. Cut leaving about one millimeter to prevent the resin from seeping through. But Cut the tape as close to the edge as possible so that the plastic will not stand out when placed into the resin. Actually, I tried different ways to seal the design. First, I sealed it with Mod Podge. But even after three coats, the resin solution seeped through and looked like this. It didn't work, so I decided to use tape to seal the design. Place the design on the stamp block and secure it with masking tape. Gel tape is very stretchy, so apply it to the stamp block without pulling. Make sure that the joints are well connected so that the resin does not leak. If you need to add more color, use a wood pick to add a little at a time to get the color you want. However, be careful not to use too much colorant or the resin will not harden.
It took a little experimentation to get the correct resin to acrylic paint ratio, also increasing the UV curing time may help out. I found this tool at a Dollar Tree. It's good for scooping up the resin and pouring it into the mold. This was my first time creating something with resin, so I tried using a different type of UV resin before making this video, but it was hard to handle creating many air bubbles. The resin in this video does not create excess bubbles and is easy to work with. I like this resin. To spice things up, apply Shally Hansen's Miracle Gel Crystal to the surface of the resin to make it sparkle. floating areas down with a wood pick for a few seconds while curing. I will use these two types of nail art materials. Use the hexagon shape one first. Pick up one by one with a wood pick and place it on the resin. Place this linear hologram on the top of the resin. A layer of resin between the two types of holograms makes them a little more three-dimensional. Bubbles and bumps can be fixed with a heat gun or by leaving it set covered overnight. If you can't wait that long, a heat gun is useful. Gel tape is easy to pull off from the resin. So it is ideal to use as a mold when making irregularly shaped objects in resin. The resin is still soft, 
so the rough edges can easily be shaved off at this point by using scissors or a carving knife. Do not make one big cut because the resin is still soft. If you do, it will make a crack. So cut a little at a time from the edge to about 1 8 inch from the design. This will make it easier to file the edges later. The lower the number, the coarser the finish. Once the edges are close to 1 16 inch, use a higher grit number to smooth out the edges. While it is still warm, place it under a heavy book overnight to make it flat. It is now flat and fully cured. The Mod Podge lid at a dollar store was just the right size as a holding device for applying the resin to the edges. Stick gel tape on the small lid and stick the finished resin on it. To make it easier to spread the resin, attach the finished resin to a base that is slightly taller, but will also fit beneath the UV light. Don't worry, it won't spill over because of surface tension, so the finished resin should be placed level. The next day I thought the edges were a little uneven, so I wet a piece of 240 grit sandpaper, wrapped around a nail buffer as a sanding block and lightly shaved the surface of the resin. A little resin overflows from the edge to the back side, so I sand it flat with sandpaper. The back side will be attached to the badge, so spread a thin and even layer of resin with a brush.
It is done, but the ID badge still looks bit boring, so I will add some bling to the badge. I will alternately stick pearls and diamonds around the badge using resin. I use super glue to attach it to the badge. You could also use resin or velcro to attach it. Separately, I bought a pair of Dansko shoes for her. I hope she likes the gifts. I was so excited when I made a magnet photo of my dog using resin and now I am even more excited to see what else I can make. It is very easy to put photos of dogs and family members in resin, and the finished product is very special and beautiful. And I like this resin, so I've added a link for more information on this product. If you are interested, please check out the link. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.